Hello, I'm Jeffrey Yamauchi with Habibi's Home Medical, and today I'm going to show you how to train your visually impaired patients to use the Prodigy Auto Code Talking Meter. Now, before we get started, before you do any training, I would like you to glove up. We would prefer that you use a vinyl powder free glove as there are problems with latex allergies and we will be inserting a needle underneath the skin and that could cause po uh, possible problems with allergies. If you need to know how to uh, set up your Prodigy Talking Autocode meter, please refer to our previous video that shows how to set the meter up. Now as you can see we've got the meter and all the equipment and supplies laid out very orderly. I do try to do this for my patients when we are uh, first setting the meter up. Now, what I have them do is I have them bring everything out, the meter, the lancet injector, a lancet, and one strip. I generally have them set the strip on top of the meter as it's easy to find again. To load the lancet injector, I've always found that it's easier for my visually impaired patients to put a finger around the top of it, line it up, slide it in. To cock the meter, it is also easier to directly push the plunger back. We put the top on and screw it tight. This is set to five. The reason we generally like to go to the deepest setting on the lance injector is Due to the visual impairment, it's oftentimes much harder to get the bead of blood onto the end of the strip. Once the lancet injector is loaded, we will then load the uh, strip into the meat. Now, on the strip, there are two ends. The end that takes the blood with the little side there that's portioned off, and then the side that you plug into the meter. You can't see it from here, but there's a small ridge that, that is very tactily indicative of where it goes into the meter. Now, as you can see, this is set up very nicely with a nice little ridge here where the meter, uh, the strip will go into the meter. And if you grab this and put your finger right there next to the hole, it your makes it quite easy to put that gone. in there. Please wait. Please apply blood <clears throat> into the tap strip. Now, often the hardest thing is getting the drop of blood to the end of the strip. One of my patients that had Parkinson's and diabetes taught me a neat trick. He said, don't hold the meter in the air because if you're like me and you've got tremors, you're not just dealing with the X and the Y axis, you've got the Z axis. So he would line it up on the edge of a table like so, and then once again into the side of the finger, and bang, and we get our bead of blood. And you always want to tell them, you know, you're not going to be able to see this, so keep squeezing. And then what I have them do is taking one finger on the side of the strip, so you kind of get an idea where it is, and your thumb over the ridge of a straight line, slide the meter directly across the table or edge till you get to the blood and roll the Dead finger. Blood sample is not enough. And that's what happens often. So blood is not enough. we'll pull. And we'll try this one more time. Your Prodigy meter is on. Please wait. Please apply blood into the test strip. Testing. Blood glucose, 120 milligrams per deciliter. Now, as you can see, Getting the proper amount of blood into the strip is a difficult thing, especially if you're visually impaired. And I've got good sight and, and I missed on my first try as well. You generally don't need a lot of blood with this meter. That's why we like it, especially for our visually impaired. So please feel free to contact Habibi's Home Metal, Medical at our website if you've got any further questions. We'd be happy to talk you through it. Thank you.